wanted to do in this video, I'm, I'm gonna jump right into this without even wasting time because I see you idiots in the comments that are like, oh, video starts at four minutes. Shut up! All right, boys, so we hop into the collection, all right? So what I wanted to talk about very quickly, you know, for, for the setup, we're, we're trying to set up this video, all right? So what I have to do is I have to introduce the idea of the video and then we're gonna execute it, okay? And if you dare put video starts at this time step, I'm gonna kill you, I'm literally gonna kill you. <clears throat> so what I wanna talk about was Crisis on Infinite Earths. If you guys have not seen the Crisis yet, there's three parts out right now. It's so good, ah, oh, so good. I wanna cry. Okay, dude, I have been watching all these CW shows since the very beginning. I was like 13 years old, bro, when um, Arrow came out. It was crazy, I, ah, oh, I'm, I miss all of it. I miss I, I miss Arrow. I miss Flash. Um, spoiler alert. This video is going to have a lot of spoilers because we're going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths, all right? So, the first thing I want to get out of the way, ah, Oliver's death was so, oh my lord. We're going to be talking, we're going to be making, my bad, making a Crisis on Infinite Earths team, all right? So, Injustice, I'm not going to lie. It, it, it doesn't support our boys over at CW, all right? We don't have that many CW characters in this roster no supergirl it kind of sucks no batwoman none of that so what i wanted to do is i wanted to take a take this take this team of three people and i wanted to showcase them how they do an online in honor of the crisis on infinite earths and you already know you already know who the two people are gonna be on this team all right let's jump right into the stupid all right uh let's just hop into online really quickly boys Exactly, you thought, you literally thought it was gonna be banned. Never banned, never banned. My accounts never get banned. For legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> come on, come on, come on now, come on, come on! Next up we do have Hot, no, you thought, no reverse flash. I know he is a CW character, and he's probably the only other CW character other than the Arrow, but I have a little bit of a twist, a little twist! It's gonna be a little surprise, L let's just inject a little drum roll, little edit right here, like and the final character is Dawn of Just Superman. Now, let me explain. Let me let me quickly explain, okay? Now, do not blame me. I, I swear to God, if you blame me for this trash-ass team, this team is not trash, all right? There is a lack of CW characters, all right? I know. I know there's Reverse Flash. I know, all right? I know he's a CW character. I know he's in there. Stop, all right? All right. I already made a CW team, so don't even at me. I'm not going to repeat the same exact video, boys. <sighs> Let me explain, all right? We did get Brandon Ruth Superman in um, The Crisis. So it was the Kingdom Come version of Superman. Now, there's no Kingdom Come Superman, boys. There's none. There's literally none. We, we, we have Godfall and we have Justice League. Like, there's, there's really not that many options for Superman. So do not at me. So what I did is that um, I did some similarities, all right? Kingdom Come Superman is a very sad, very heartbroken, very gloomy, very emo, ah, uh, Superman, you know? His parents, everybody dead! His mom dead! His girlfriend dead! Everyone's dead! Everyone's gone! The Earth is gone! Everything is dead, alright? Everything's dead to him. There's no point for him being alive. That's how he feels, alright? So, basically, he's a sad, sad Superman, alright? He, he's lost a lot, and he's, you know, he's, he's, he's just kinda... He's just kinda chilling after that, alright? I don't know what else you want me to say, so... The only other character that I can even think of that even shares those similarities is probably Dawn of Justice Superman because that movie sucked. I'm not gonna lie. Dawn of Justice sucked. And you know what? The exact same reaction I got from Dawn of Justice was sad. I felt sad after watching that film because I wasted my time. All right? So me feeling sad for this Superman is also me feeling sad for Kingdom Come Superman. So that's how I got to this genius Kanye West solution, all right? Now, let's move on to the gear. You know, we have built up the Flash or Barry Allen vanishing um, since season one, you know? And you would think it'd be a pretty big deal for him to, you know, um, live through it, right? It'd be something pretty insane for him to live through it, right? Guess what? Another Flash just does it. Like, who would have thought? And then th their bullshit excuse was that, oh, a Flash has to vanish. Not not specifically Earth-1, like we've been teasing for like 10,000 years now. No, bump that. Bump all that noise. You guys are literally dumb for thinking it was Earth-1 Barry Allen that was gonna disappear. Hot no. You guys are idiots. You're idiots. They literally have the most disposable character vanish ever. We don't even see Earth-90 Flash all that much, and they just tear it from you, boys. Yeah, so I don't... I don't mean to, you know, um, hate on Earth-90 Flash. I just hate the way they treated him. In Elseworlds, 
he, like he was teased in the trailer like oh he's gonna, he's gonna like like play a big part oh it's Earth ninety Flash super crazy he gets like five minutes of screen time then he vanishes all right and literally it's the exact same in Crisis he literally is there for like five minutes and then gone just like that literally it's the exact same. I felt so sad when he died because I literally love that aesthetic of the Flash. He had the best suit, I believe, for a Flash. I don't know why. I love that aesthetic or, like, that suit he had, Earth-90 Flash. It just looks so cool. It, it just reminisced, you know, like the 90s in such a perfect way. So, honestly, I loved it. But the way they treated him in the show, so bad. So bad, boys. I, 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 I'm just so sad about it, all right? Um, the Necron Scythe. We're going to put for the arrow. And then, you know, finally for Kingdom Comes Through Man. We're just going to call him Kingdom Comes Through Man, all right? Don't at me, all right? We're going to put the, oh, the League of Assassins Adam Knives, boys, please. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Okay, that's that's enough. That is enough, boys. Let's hop right into this. Right into this, all right? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk a little bit of crisis, all right? Since this is a crisis video, I really wanted to take the second, or just in the comments, to just have like a all-out crisis discussion because i am so hyped for part four and five spoiler alert let, let me just do spoiler alert for part four and five nothing crazy reverse flash does come back and here's my theory about this here's my theory with this the reverse flash uh, in the flash will go back to the time barry's mom was literally murdered all right so that's where you're gonna see the night his mother got killed you're, you're, you're finally gonna see the flash reverse flash go back in time to the time where his mom got killed and let his let reverse flash kill him so basically what i'm talking about is the timeline just comes together the, the timeline just comes to a full circle man all right it's it's pretty exciting so so that's what's gonna happen i also heard john diggle will become the green lantern john stewart green lantern so that's gonna be very exciting um what else did i hear what else did i hear john stewart green lantern i i know that's gonna happen i know reverse flash is gonna be here also oliver queen will be the specter um I have no clue what the Spectre is. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry, all right? The Spectre, he's, he's, he's some anti-hero, but the thing is, the Spectre needs to host, or there needs to be a human body host for the Spectre to be a good guy, all right? Otherwise, bad things will happen. So that's why Oliver Queen will become some sort of god <laughs> in the finale, and that's how he's going to fight the homeboy anti-monitor bit. So that's what's going to happen. I have no clue how they're gonna show or like 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 the new suit with Oliver Queen. Who knows? Who who really knows? I I'm just excited to see the finale. Cause honestly, honest to God, these these first three parts of Crisis, um, a lot of character development. I I, I really did enjoy the fact that they were kind of building up characters like Batwoman and um, Supergirl, but they really missed on the key aspect of these crossovers, which is Barry and Oliver. They are literally the forefronts to these crossovers. Their interactions literally make up the entire cro like, crossover. Their chemistry on set is great. And they just kind of toss it aside. They kind of sideline both Barry and Oliver. Oliver to death. They kind of sideline him. In, in the first part, you don't really see much of him in the second or third part, except for his, his dead body. That's all you really see. And then, you know, Barry literally got nerfed to shit. Literally, you don't even see him do much. All you... Honestly, the most action he got in this entire crossover was part one. That's probably it. The other was just him not even in the flash suit, boys. I don't understand. The only time you ever see him in the flash suit is when he's supposed to uh, quote-unquote vanish. But they just kind of throw that shit to the side and just say... Fuck no. I know I've been bashing on Crisis for a little too much, all right? Let me just say what I did enjoy about Crisis, all right? First things first. Kingdom Come Superman was probably the coolest part about this crossover. I'm not going to lie. Kingdom Come Superman was so cool to see because, boys, boys, listen. Tyler Hoechlin, or like the or like the Earth-38 Superman, um, he's great. Honestly, he's great. He really does bring out the Superman character. The charisma in him is pretty great. His body isn't really Superman material. I know he, he he does, you know, work out and all that. His body's probably great. I don't know. But his body's a little slim for Superman, right? So Brandon Ruth literally is like six feet tall. The boy's buff as hell. And he's perfect. He's literally perfect for the role. His eyes were glistening. I was like, oh my lord. I want to be his lowest lady if you know what I'm talking about. So Kingdom Come Superman was honestly great. I love the like like the little feud between Batwoman and um Supergirl. Also, I completely forgot Batman. Oh yeah. Batman had some injustice storyline tied to him or some bullshit. It, it had some Dawn of Justice vibes. 
Honestly, it was great. Kevin Conroy, I think that's his name. His voice is, gr oh my God, it's great. It's the first time you actually hear him in, um, in, in the crossover or, or just in the show entirely. You know, it, it was great hearing him. I can't wait to actually see his Earth One counterpart. Cause honestly, what they showed us is an evil version of Bruce Wayne. And obviously, he's not evil, boys. He's not. He's a good person. They, 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 they just kind of showed us like a basically throwaway Batman character because he literally got killed in the first five minutes after his. Appearance. but that's about it really batman was cool to see honestly w w what i really hate is that they spent too much time on like um cameos and fan service like honestly tom welling great it was great seeing him because i did watch smallville but he had no effect on the show whatsoever unless that unless they had brought him in like uh brandon root superman was brought in from his earth they didn't do that because what happened was it was just fan service Pretty much it was fan service. I'm fine with that, but we had so many fan service like cameos that did really nothing to the actual um, crossover. Like there was really no point to go to Bruce Wayne's Mater in Earth Earth 99. I'm not entirely sure what Earth it was, but yeah, there was no point to go to that evil Bruce Wayne because the monitor could have just said, "Hey, Batwoman, you're the Paragon." That's literally it. The first, the second part of Crisis could have been ten minutes for all I care, really. And then we could have we could have just had the finale really quick, but honestly, I, I don't mind it that much because we did get a lot of crisis footage, boys, a lot. So that, that that's fine by me. That's oh my Shia, we're dead. We're literally dead. All right, all right, it's time to ooh bit. Okay, we're dead. We're kind of dead. No, boys, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, Joker. Oh, God damn, bitch. Okay, we're good. Oh, my Lord, boy. Please let me know your thoughts. And why am I frozen? I'm, I am I, can't move, boys. I, I can't move. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. I'm stuck in a stun loop. And there goes Medieval the Flash. My bad. He's dead. He's literally dead. Boys, please. I can't be locked in a stun loop forever, can I? Thank you. Please let me, please let me get out of this chain. Thank you so much. And we can't get any power because we're in some doo-doo state. <sighs> All right. Ooh, I don't think so, buddy boy. I do not think so. All right, clean, 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 clean. Ah, okay. Boom. Ah, oh, my Shia. Green Arrow, I need you to not be so trash right now. <sighs> I don't think so, buddy boy. What the Shia was that? I tagged out. Oh my lord, boys. We're not doing so hot. We're not doing so hot. All right, now we have um, Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Then we have Mortal Kombat Scorpion again, boys. Uh, that That's classic. That's classic Scorpion. And then that's Mortal Kombat X Scorpion. See, I know my terminology, boys. I, I haven't forgotten. And then we have Prime Batgirl, all right? I know this shit like the back of my hand bro i know all these characters with like off the top of my heart bro all right all right watch this hold on let's get our special threes because we haven't done that yet and i really want to get our special threes done Hit, boom all right also um i haven't even said this yet wow i literally forgot it's been so long i do sell by the way i do sell hacked accounts on oh my shia i do sell hacked accounts on my instagram for a very cheap price so if you guys are interested in buying a hacked account for just ios they contact me on instagram you already know the drill boys i don't even know why, why, why i'm even saying this oh shit tag out hell no all right arrow i need to get our special three before we die we're, we're dead we're dead oh no we're dead come on come on come on tag out okay thank god yes 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 look at that boys just deflecting everything he just puts out on us boys all right get your special three in yeah man. there you go um, just picture Kingdom Come Superman, all right? Just, just, just picture him, all right? <laughs> just picture him, boys. Oh man, Injustice One. There's no CW characters, bro. And we haven't seen Reverse Flash, so it wouldn't make sense to put Reverse Flash in this team. Although we will see him, we will see him for sure. You guys know that for a fact. You, you see him in the in the part four um trailer. Obviously, you see him. You see him like a split second, but the the majority don't know that he's gonna be a part of the crossover. But if you are, but if you've read the article or the 2024 article about the crisis, Reverse Flash and all, all like Hawk Girl and like I don't know, like all these characters are supposed to be in this crisis, but we never see Hawk Girl because of the timeline switch or some shit like that. I don't know. Basically, we're not gonna see Hawk Girl, which I was really hoping on because we haven't seen Hawk Girl 
since Legends Season 1, I think. Um, it's, so it's been a while, but, you know, who cares? I think the crisis so far has been pretty good. It did make me cry. Part 1 deadass made me cry, I'm not gonna lie. When you've been watching a show since you were like 12, you know, it really does hurt you in that, in, in that worst place imaginable, right? I'm 17 right now. I'm 17 right now, alright? And, and, and I watched that show when I was like, shit, when I, was, when I, don't, I don't know what the hell I, when I was 12 or 13, I don't know what the hell I, I, I was, I was like 10, I don't, I don't, I don't know, boys, I literally forgot, 14, 13, I don't know, somewhere around there, I watched that show for the first time, and, you know, back in the day, before Arrow came out, I used to love reading comic books, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of a, uh, Marvel, <laughs> Marvel, Mar Marvel guy, more than a DC guy, but Arrow, Honestly, Arrow Season 1 made me switch to DC. I love DC a lot more. So you can imagine how I felt after watching Dawn of Justice. I felt so heartbroken because... Part 1. There's no... There's no Green Arrow, boys. Green Arrow does not exist in, in Dawn of Justice. Or in the Justice League. I was really hoping Justice League would show off at least Green Lantern or Green, Green Arrow, you know? One of those two, but... Um, now that I think about it, having Green Arrow, <laughs> specifically Green Arrow in Justice League, would make no sense as he has no powers. But that's the beauty of it, boys! That's the beauty of it! That's why I love him a lot more than Flash. The Flash TV show is a lot more entertaining, for sure. But Arrow just has that certain aesthetic. Oh my god! I'm dead? Oh my, f oh my, l oh my lord, the gang size. No, boys! <sighs> Ooh, that's Crisis in a nutshell, boys. And now we have Oliver. <laughs> All we have left is- Oh, boys, we're dead. We're dead, oh no! My birthday is this Wednesday, December 18. So, I, may I might make a video then. Who knows? But, I'll tell you guys later. Peace, peace, guys.